Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you with the weekly podcast on the Common Sense MD. Today I want to talk to you about something really simple. This is a really simple, easy subject today, and but it has tremendous benefits for your health. I'm talking about walking, um, simple walking. I walk every day at lunch and after dinner. I never thought of it as exercise, really, until recently. Um, I've always gone at working out pretty hard, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm a huge fan of um, resistance training, muscle building, and all that. But recently, a doctor friend of mine brought me an article um, on a recent study of the benefits of just walking. You know, I always thought 10,000 steps was what everybody should walk every day. Um, but a recent study analyzed data from 20,000 people in the United States and 42 other countries. It found that walking between 6,000 and 9,000 steps daily dramatically lowered the risk of cardiovascular disease, um, which is the leading killer worldwide for older adults. Compared with people who walk 2,000 steps a day, the people who walk six to 9,000 steps had a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, which means heart attacks and strokes, by 40 to 50%. That's a lot. This study confirmed an earlier study I had read from Vanderbilt University that demonstrated that walking 8,000 steps can lower the risk of a wide range of chronic health issues, not just cardiovascular. The study also found that for every additional 1,000 steps, there was an incremental reduction in cardiovascular risk. And there's really no upper limit to this thing. Although the studies, I've never seen one that went past 15,000 steps. Now, the most steps I ever took that I measured was about 40,000 steps when I was in New York City. I walked up to Central Park, was staying nearby, walked around the whole park, and then down to the World Trade Center. For those that have been to New York City, that's a long way. I was tired. Um, but anyway, the old 10,000 steps is really not based on any scientific research at all. Um, so walking needs to be intentional and, you know, daily and do it with kind of at least moderate intensity, a brisk walk. And you should also incorporate unintentional no, walking, like taking the stairs, walking over driving, parking as far as you can from the store and then walking in. I always do this. That way your car didn't get dings on it too. Um, another recent study found that fast walking was incredibly beneficial. You don't have to swing your arms, although that's good. You can even high step it. Um, it's probably better than running. Definitely less traumatic on your joints. And the thing about it is you can do that and go straight back to work. You don't have to shower. It's so easy. But you do need brisk daily walking. Um, I love fitness trackers. You know, I use my Aura Ring. I love it. But most smartphones have a built-in tracker, so you can look at those. Remember, about half a mile is about a thousand steps. Brisk walking means you're going about a hundred steps a minute. You know, you can, it's like a zone two training. You know, you can talk at a comfortable uh, level. Um, so, anyway, I was reading an article at the Wall Street Journal yesterday, and it talked about these new walking clubs. There's a boom in walking clubs in big cities. Um, post COVID, it's a great way to socialize and meet people. Most of these are women's walking groups, but men do it too. You can walk in any weather. A lot of times I'll go to the mall if it's rainy. There seems to be a pushback against the hardcore workout culture, um, and a resurgence of going back to the basics. And it all starts with walking. And I have nothing against, 
gym memberships, Orange Theory, um, you know, all the, the all the heavy workouts. I really I really like all the fitness stuff. Um, but really, if if you're not having fun doing it, if you want to do it daily, then you need to just walk. And much like pickleball, um, camaraderie is top of the mind for exercisers. You can't do that when you're huffing and puffing in spin class. Um, but I've found that, it's, that it's, if it's not convenient or fun, most people drop out of exercising, like a lot of times in gym memberships. Um, my personal routine, some of you may know it, but I'll wake up, drink a cup of coffee, take my perfect aminos, and go to my basement for about a 20, 25-minute workout with light weights, bands. I do a few minutes on my um, mini trampoline. I stretch, do push-ups, pull-ups, body weight squats, sometimes kettlebell exercises, hit, my punch, hit and kick my punching bag sometimes. Then I get in my infrared sauna, sweat a lot, take a cold shower, I'm ready for work. I walk about 30 minutes after I eat a light lunch every day. After work, I love to bike. If I can, I'll take a bike ride because I love it. Um, then after dinner, whether or not I've ridden my bike or not, I'll walk for about 10 minutes. It really aids in digesting and helps you kind of get a jump start in your metabolism from that meal you just ate, which is usually going to be the largest meal. Um, that sounds like a lot that I do, but really it's not. It's just a routine. You know, every successful person goes by routine. Very important. Um, and if I don't do anything else, and sometimes I don't, I will walk. Um, I think that's the key to, as you get older especially, to, you know, keep your health up. You just simply need to walk more. It's great for stress. It lowers your blood pressure. It helps you sleep. And believe it or not, it really works your core muscles. It really works your major core muscles. Um, a recent study at Harvard found some surprising benefits of walking. It counteracts the effects of weight-promoting genes, and they've discovered about 32 of those um, obesity genes. Simple walking cut the effects of those genes by half. So your genetics are not your destiny. I say this all the time. Um, it's more dependent on what you eat and how you exercise. Um, I don't think there's any one more important thing you can do for your health and exercise. I think if you're talking about weight loss, your nutrition is more important. But for your overall health, there's nothing that beats exercise. It's been proven time and time again. Um, Walking also helps reduce your cravings for sugar um, in that Harvard study. It reduces the risk of breast cancer, and I suspect all kinds of cancers. It eases joint pain, especially the knees and the hips, which are the most likely ones to get replaced. Um, it prevents arthritis because it increases lubrication of the joints. Um, it boosts your immune function. A recent study found that those who walked 20 minutes a day, five days a week, had a 43% fewer sick days than those who exercised just one, once a week or less. That's a lot. And if they did get sick, their sickness was much milder and of shorter duration. Um, it helps in digestion. You know, we always talk about the gut. It actually helps you digest your food, just walking. Um, so I'm going to give you a prescription to walk daily. I love working out, but please at least walk every day. I hope this helps. I hope it sticks in your mind. I'll see you next week.